This is a tutorial on how to create a roof. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your roof line floor plan. You won't see anything, so you need to go into your properties window and click on underlay and do ground level and hit apply. Then you can see what's going on beneath that. The next thing we're going to do is go to our architecture tab, go to roof, and we're going to create a new roof. So the closest one to the roof we will create is a wood rafter 8 inch asphalt shingle. We are going to go to edit type and the first thing we always do if we're going to edit anything is duplicate and rename. We can name it to wood truss roof and I've already created one so I'm going to put it to. Okay. Then we're going to go to edit type or edit structure and we will edit this structure. So this wood joist rafter layer, that's okay, but we're going to change it to 3.5 inches, so it's made out of 2 by 4s Our plywood sheathing, that's pretty good. We can keep that. And then our asphalt shingle is a quarter inch. So everything is good here, so you just need to change the thickness. Okay, so hit OK and hit OK again. So now one thing that we want to do is we want to change our overhang to one foot. Okay, change your overhang to one foot. Then hit escape to get out of that. And now you're going to pick on your walls. So pick on walls and you'll select the walls and you want to make sure that you select towards the outside of the wall and it will automatically create a box for you for a roof. So I'm going to hit the check mark so you can see what this looks like. You can see your roof lines coming together. This is a, hipped, a hip roof where they all angle up towards each other. We actually want a gable roof, so I'm going to select my roof, hit Edit Footprint, and go back to my floor plan. That's a roof line. And the way to get rid of that is to change our slope. So on these two sides, I don't want any slope because I want my roof, um, these two slides, sides coming together into a peak. So I'm going to click on that line, Uncheck Define Slope, click on that line, uncheck Define Slope. Then the slope that I want these two sides of the roof to have is 6 over 12. So this is very important to type in 6 inches divided by 12 inches in order to get the right slope. slope. You must type it in exactly like that. Okay. Then hit your check mark, go to your 3D view, and you are complete. Oh, one more thing to connect your wall to your roof, you can do attach to there and it automatically attaches it for you. Let's see how it does that. So I can do it again, click on your wall, attach to roof and it does that for you. Okay, and that is it.